this year the uh, the tournament has actually attracted a lot of sponsorship, uh, which just shows you that it's uh, meant to continue to continue growing and that people identify with what is happening here uh, right now. Um, we also were able this year um, to because we moved from from Karen, and we needed to make sure that both. Uh, sections of the field were connected, were able to put up a bridge uh, and so we're really really grateful to Kenha and to the entire uh, government of Kenya for putting up that bridge across the road so that it's easier for the uh, players uh, together with their trolleys to go across from one side uh, to the other. In fact that made a huge difference. Uh, it was done in record time and I think those of you who were here when we launched it would, uh, would know that. That was done very, very quickly. Uh, though the contractor was a woman, and I was happy to announce that very loudly. Um, yeah, but she also made sure that uh, her team worked day and night. So they worked 24 hours a day to just make sure that we were on time and that we would launch it before the, uh, the uh, championship began. Uh, but really, really happy to be here. Very, very proud of what I'm, I've been watching uh, today, just seeing how well our uh, young uh, players are doing. And, you know, hoping against hope that, uh, you know, the prize money stays on the continent, huh? uh, because we have uh, players from uh, a number of countries on the, on the continent, including Malawi and, and Zimbabwe. And so I'm hoping that this time, uh, with what I have seen, uh, that is world class, uh, we will continue to encourage these players uh, so that uh, at the end of the day, among the top 10, we have a good number of of uh, Africans from the continent.